Well, hello again, Joe Brownlee here, Supplemental Instruction Leader at Palm Beach State College for Intermediate Algebra. And welcome to the very first video in our final exam review series. Now, if you watched our introduction video, and if you haven't, I would recommend you do so, you'll know that we're gonna be dedicating each video in this series to a separate problem that comes directly from a final exam practice test and so let's not waste any more time let's go ahead and get right into it and the directions for number one because it's always good to read the directions so we know what we're know what we're being asked to do say to graph the equation all right well that seems pretty straightforward and they give us an equation that they want us to graph and that equation is 6x minus 24y equals 24. All right, so let's go ahead and put our practice exam to the side and just focus on what they've given us. Now, if you recall from chapter three, which is where this material comes from, 3.1 actually, you might remember that in order to graph an equation, the equation needs to be in a specific form. And that form is called the slope-intercept form. And the reason that it needs to be in this form is because when it's in y equals mx plus b, we're able to easily identify two key components that we're going to need when graphing. And the first is represented by our m and m, you may remember, is going to be our slope, and b represents our y-intercept, where the y-intercept is uh, some point. All right, so taking a look at the given equation, this is actually in a, another special form called standard form. And standard form is simply ax plus by equals c. And it's important to know that because we know that we can easily go from standard form to slope intercept form by simply isolating or solving for y. So if I go back to my original equation, well, right now I have my x term combined on the same side as my y, and I can't have that according to y equals mx plus b. So let's go ahead and start solving this equation for y. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and bring my 6x over by subtracting it from both sides. And when I do that, of course, it goes away on the left, and I'm left with negative 24y equals negative 6x plus 24 on the right-hand side of my equation. And if I want to isolate y, then my final step is going to be to divide by negative 24 on both sides. And that just leaves me with y equals, well now I have a negative 6 over a negative 24. And if we remember, a negative divided by a negative is going to give me a positive. And I can reduce 6 over 24 to 1 over 4, because 6 goes into itself one time, and six goes into 24 six times, or four rather, excuse me. All right, and I'm gonna make sure that I put my x in. And then finally, I have a positive 24 divided by a negative 24, and we know that a positive divided by a negative is simply a negative and 24 goes into itself just one time. And so when we 
rewrite the given equation in slope intercept form this is what we get now these two equations are exactly identical they're just in different forms this of course again is the form we want it to be in so that we can easily graph so let's go ahead and do that part now all right so I've got myself uh, just a basic uh, rectangular coordinate plane here and we're gonna go ahead and graph this equation I'm gonna go ahead and switch writing utensils so that it makes it a little easier for us to write well this is again just basic so I have my x-axis running horizontally and I have my y-axis running up and down vertically and let's go ahead and actually label our units of measure here now let me go up to six so one two three four five six and then of course I'm going negative so negative one two three four five and six and when I go down negative one two three negative four negative five negative six all right perfect so now I'm good to go well again let's take a look at the information that we have we have y equals 1 over 4x minus 1 and if I go back to my uh, slope intercept form I know that B which in this case is negative 1 is my y intercept so really what I have here for a y intercept is 0 negative 1 so let's go ahead and plot that on our grid 0 negative 1 is simply right there and now I'm going to use my slope and we might remember that slope is the same as rise over run well if my slope is 1 over 4 and it's rise over run I know that means I'm going to rise one unit and run positive four units so let's go ahead and do that I start at my uh, y-intercept which was negative one I'm gonna go up one unit back to zero or my origin and then I'm gonna run in the positive direction four units one two three and four and plot my point now we have more than enough here to graph our line but let's go ahead and just plot one more point so that we can uh, more easily distinguish this line and all I'm going to do is again I'm going to start at my new point my newest point here on the uh, x-axis and use the same slope and plot my next point so I'm going to go up one again which is my rise and then I'm going to run positive four units so one two three and four all right perfect now all we do is take our ruler line it up and draw our line connecting the dots I'll go ahead and include arrows at both ends because we know that graphs go on or uh, lines rather go on in infinite directions on both ways and we'll go ahead and just write the equation of this line at the bottom and that is it that is question number one from our practice final hopefully that was all review for you um, and it came rushing back so I will go ahead and wrap up here but I will see you at video number two shortly thanks for watching